So we are three brothers. Yes. Are Last time I checked. <laughs> the brothers Hanson. And um, we started off as musicians and continue to be musicians. I mean, I think yeah. really we started off as kids getting really lucky to follow passion. And we built uh, our band and our music around, you know, our passion. And if we could do something that we really love and put all your effort into it that you it's true you don't you know you don't work a day you yeah. you're you're already you're doing something you really care about or at least so you work, work in a lot of days but you feel really good about the work <laughs> you're good doing. About the work you're doing. <laughs> and we um as we traveled the world and saw things and experienced you know great food and great cultures i think we began to really get excited as we came back to the u.s um there'd be this budding love of, of beer was sort of rising. Ultimately, our, our decision to jump into making beer and then to starting you know, a small beer company was we, um, we love to be able to share what, what we love with others. Mm -hmm. And if you can talk about something you're passionate about, um, then that's where you should put your effort and that's where you should yeah. put your business. And um, we, we began uh, brewing beer in Oklahoma um, with the effort to have it be something that people could also come and feel like they they connected with us, mm -hmm. you know, when you come to our hometown, just like being here in Bamberg, it's like this is you look around and you see history, and you see the family. So coming here in Bamberg is like coming full circle. Yeah. We met Stefan in California and we began to talk about great beer and really our interest in learning from other brewers and figuring out how to discover the classic. Um, German styles and, and bring that to America and so now we're here and with the opportunity to stand in the historic Mars brewery and, and do that and develop something together and then hopefully something that everyone will love and then we uh, get to return that, uh, that exchange favor, yeah. by inviting him to our home and doing it back in the US. So we're here, and you're gonna do us the treat of showing us around your amazing brewery. Um, we are really excited to, to capture the tradition of like what your family has been doing here, and it, like you're saying to, to to feel that and experience that. Um, talk about like what's the signature when you, you know, like people know this is a Mars beer. What's the thing that that you know makes that? possible like when you know the components of this beer that's something that we get to take away i think it's like you know it's the experience first of all you know yeah. experience over the over the years and then really train your staff very well what they're doing so they that they feel it like you know what they're doing and then also the recipe uh, the ingredients you know mm -hmm. ingredients is the most important thing and then that you Quality. really love yeah that you really love what you're doing you know so <laughs> I don't sell just beer, I just sell also atmosphere, lifestyle. People, yeah. they come here in this bar, sitting here like by the oven on the Stammtisch, people love that stuff, you know, it's old school. We try to keep our beers always in a good shape, mm -hmm. make good beers, and not too many fancy stuff, you know, it's good, you have like beer of the month, whatever, you know, or mm -hmm. a seasonal product, but don't too, too much, because... Right. You get crazy after a while, you know? And for us, is it important that the beer tastes always the same? Mm -hmm. But when you make so many different beers, mm -hmm. how, how you wanna be like, that you can say, this beer tastes all the time the same? We brew authentic beer for authentic it's, people. It's, exactly, that's exactly. yeah, true, yeah. And, 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 and that is important to me because, you're, because um, we, we say about our, our music, and I think that this is also true about the beer that we make, is that it is beer that we like, beer that we really are passionate about, and and you can't, you can only you only have your own palate to judge that by, and you hope that the things that you like because you're passionate about them are also then that passion is passed on to the people that you share it with. You know, in in the states we don't have this. Like I said, we don't have the history where you know for so long there was no local brewery. Like you all have that for so long where this it's is beer consistent. from here and this is this town. And so like there's this whole new discovery where there's gonna be new traditions where a place is known for a particular style. And we are at almost like rewind three centuries, you know, to, to go back to founding beer breweries that we hope yeah. will be here. 
you know, and we can pass on because it's a new some, beginning in some places, you know, in the Midwest, mate, someone's going to be known for a wheat beer, you know, or someone's going to be known for a pale ale or someone be known for a stout or someone, you know, you go to Minnesota or where, you know, there's more traditional German lagers and pilsners. There's going to be, you know, there's towns that are known for those beers, but we don't have those, you know, so we're building those traditions. I think it's a, it's a good, a good plan that we got together and I, I'm very happy that to have you guys here at Mars to Thank show you. you around my brewery, you know. And, Thank uh, you for having us. I'm very happy to come over soon to see you guys in Tulsa. Yeah. It's going to be to fun. To check with you guys uh, on the beer scene out there, you know, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, enjoy good beers at that day. Cheers to that. Cheers, Cheers. Guys. Yeah.